Hi, this is Dr. Melissa Chotel, also known as the Aligner Bee, and I'm here at Lab Day in Chicago to check out all of the new products in the orthodontic and in the laboratory space. One of the areas that everyone is currently interested in, and there's been lots of chatter about, is our ability to direct print aligners. I definitely myself would first see direct printing as aligners as one of those areas that is gonna make a huge environmental impact when we can eliminate the models. So I'm super excited to see all of the new innovation that's been released at today's meeting. I'm here today at the Lux Creo booth. Lux Creo is one of the few companies that has FDA 510 clearance for their direct print aligner product. So I wanted to take a look and see how their system is set up. What we see with direct printing aligners and what tends to have a lot of attention is how we post process. And Lux Creo has the iLux system that I wanted to take the opportunity and review today. So we can see that they have their own proprietary 3D printer where we're able to 3D print the clear aligners to the build platform using supports. These supports are designed to peel away and then to have minimal polishing at the edges of the clear aligner. One of the unique things that we can see here with this printer is these aligners are designed to print vertically. However, instead of straight vertically, they print at approximately a 70 degree angle. And this I've been told is for the accuracy of the prints. After the clear aligners are done in the 3D printer, there is a post-processing process. There is a new wash, dry, and cure station that have been developed. One of the factors that we have to consider in the in-office laboratory and laboratory space is the time that it takes for all of these factors. When we move from the 3D printing to the wash, this is an automated wash station that's been designed where the aligners can be placed into the main basket. And it's actually a two-step wash. The first one being, of course, the dirty wash to remove the bulk of the excess material. And the second to remove the other particles of the material after in our clean wash. The washing process takes approximately 13 minutes after the 3D prints have been finished. So in this system, we're able to avoid the centrifuge of some of the traditional direct printing systems by utilizing a wash. After the wash processing is done and before the curing process, the aligners need to be dry and dehydrated from the IPA and alcohol that were used in the washes. So there is a proprietary drying unit that will dry and dehydrate the aligners and prepare them for their light and post processing. We can see here in the light curing unit, after the dry, the aligners will go into the light cure process and then they will be ready for use in the mouth. The drying and the light curing process takes approximately 40 minutes. So as we can see here with the 13 minutes of our wash cycles and approximately 40 minutes to dry and to cure, we're looking at just shy of an hour of post-processing time. This is something that we could do in between patients or within downtime in the office. So really some interesting developments with the entire system from Lux Creo and iLux, taking the system all the way from printing through post-processing and curing with the three-step post-curing process. It's always interesting to see the new and unique innovations as always, we continue to see the simplification of the direct printing process coming about. I'm excited to see what's happening here in Chicago at Lab Day, and I'll be bringing you more updates on 3D printing, clear aligners, and the direct printing of aligners. For more information, make sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at AlignerBee.